Another great example of what God does in the revival is that he gives you favor. He gives you the grace to have favor with man. You have favor even with people that are, um, otherwise will not favor you. He goes ahead of you and fights some battles that only him could fight. Now, we said a few days ago that our God is a fighter. I'm telling you, yes, he is a fighter. Oh my goodness, he can fight and fight good. He can bring you a judge. He can bring you victory. He can judge your enemies and bring you a victory that is uncommon. Amen. Who are we looking at? We're looking at the widow. The widow that went to um, this judge that was wicked. She refused to give up. She persists in what she wanted. Remember we say revival is a season where you know what you want. You want more of the word. You want more of prayer. You want to stay with your father. You want to press in your God. You're looking up to him and you're saying, Father, no matter what, all I want is you. All I want is your best for me. Guess what? The widow never gave up. No matter how wicked the judge was. No matter how challenging the situation no matter how challenging situations around you may seem right now, no matter how hard it looks like things will never change. Look at this woman. The judge never feared God and the judge never feared man. But because a woman will not stop asking for what belongs to her. Do you know healing belongs to you? Do you know riches belongs to you? Do you know great relationships belongs to you? If you don't stop asking, if you don't stop looking up to God, expecting that he will bring it to pass, you'll get it. If you don't stop, you will. It's just a matter of time. You will. If you don't take off your mind from the fact that I need it, I want it, it's mine, you will definitely, with God, you will get it. Now, this widow is saying, this is my case. I cannot move. I'm not going to shake left or right. They just say, if I don't go out, this widow will weary me. Right? But guess what? The widow was not there to weary him. <laughs> the widow was not there to weary him. The widow was there to get what she knew she deserved. Do you know? Are you sure? Do you believe that this thing you're trusting God for is God's will for your life? Can you for sure say that it is my right in God for my family members to be saved? Can you say for sure it is my right in God to be healed? Can you say for sure it's my right in God to have money, riches? If you can say that with certainty, then you will have it. One of the things that will make a child of God or somebody believe in God not to get the final reward is that they don't even believe that what they are believing God for is God's will. What are we saying? We're saying in a season of revival, you want to be able to have the word of God. You want to know God's mind concerning the things you're believing him for. Go back to the word and be sure that what you're believing and trusting God for is what he can give you. Is what he has promised in his word to give to his children. This woman, this widow knew her right. This widow said, no. You can think I'm here to weary you. I am not here to weary you. I am here to get what is duly mine. Amen. If you do that, what will happen is that at the end, you will also get everything that belongs to you. You will possess all your possession because you never gave up. You stayed in the season of revival. You persist in the season of revival. And guess what? Nobody, every single one that believe God in a season of revival and persist in, in asking and believing and doing that which is required. For example, if you're believing God for finances, you will never have money in the kingdom of God by prayer and fasting only. You're praying. If you're praying, if there's any prayer when it comes to believing God for finances is prayer that he will show you what to do and what to do might, might, might imply show you how to tithe right 
show you how to give right. He will also show you um, what to do to make money because the Bible says he's the one that give us the, the, the power to make wealth or to create wealth. Power there is not talking only about physical strength. Even more, it's talking about the insight, the understanding, the knowledge, what can cause you to make wealth. That's what it talks about there when it comes to power. So when, it, when you as a child of God is praying and asking God, for how to make wealth you have to understand that god will give you ideas he will show you who to partner with that's what it means there so what are we saying you have to go sit down ask yourself now i'm believing god for finances lord what do i do and then god will show you and then you persist you pressed in and you will get a revival there will be a revival in your financial life amen so let's do what, know what belongs to us. And in the season of revival, it will be released to us. Amen. Glory to God. Amen and amen.